Today we're going to look at CFAM 615 and 616 regarding the teacher salary schedule. It's two charts. Kind of give you a different view in comparison to the schools around you or however you choose to filter. So let's get started and just type in 615. When 615 opens up the salary schedule chart, it shows every district all together and a lot of times you don't want to look at every district you want to look at different types of groups and if you'll see in the bottom right hand corner you can choose statewide or you can choose by co-op and that just shows you all of the districts within each co-op so you still have to filter this if you only wanted to look at a particular co-op so let's just look at Crowley's Ridge. Alright so here are the districts within that co-op sometimes you may want to know about another district that is another co-op, so you might select two. It does only allow you to do it in those groupings, or you could do it by particular schools. So for instance, if I, the bulk of my schools were in Crowledge Ridge co-op, but I also wanted to get one out of NEA, or that border, this co-op area, then you could pick them out and figure out which ones those are by selecting NEA. That's one uh, nearby. There's some neighboring schools and some that cross over. And so the list gets longer over to the left because now you see the Northeast Co-op up here and you can see the districts within this co-op. If you're just trying to quickly figure out which schools belong in a co-op, this is a good chart to use. But the real benefit of this chart is to look at the salary schedules. Now this data is kind of dated. It depends on what is posted to the state site. So things could change, you know, millage could pass or locally they could increase their salary uh, after this data was posted. So just keep that in mind as you go through. It's Better to look at this one year at a time. You can choose which year you want up at the top right in the filters, but uh, let's just look at 22 since that's the most recent complete year. And it's pretty self-explanatory for school. And you can see all of the data in the little scorecard. And you can go through and look at the individual amounts for the individual column titles that we see here at the top. So those match up to these numbers to the right. It also shows you the rank. So if I wanted to select all co-ops and change my grouping to statewide and just pick out a few schools. So in NEA and Crowley's Ridge co-op there are a few that are neighboring school districts. So I know that Green County Tech for instance I believe they're part of NEA and they're a fairly large school, somewhere around 3,000, 4,000 students. And then you have Jonesboro, which is in Crowley's Ridge Co-op. It's one of the largest schools in the area at around 6,000 students. But you have some other three to 4,000. I believe Marion is in Crowley's Ridge Co-op. And I believe Nettleton. Here's a grouping of schools that are in proximity close to each other and they're fairly similar in size although Jonesboro is the largest uh, by far as far as enrollment. This is the schools that are going to be competing against each other recruit, recruiting uh, the teachers so you have to kind of know your distance on where you're pulling teachers from and your rank a lot of times is more important where do you rank locally rather than statewide. This chart does that for you. It adjusts for your selected filter. Unfortunately, the way the data is laid out, you cannot sort by rank. But you can sort by district as far as alphabetical order, but you have the ranks listed here for you. So of this grouping, Green County Tech's bachelor's zero years ranks fourth among this grouping with Marion number one in the starting teacher salary. Then it may change a little bit. You see a flip between Jonesboro and Marion when you do the plus 15. Some schools pay differently. Their salary schedules adjust differently as you move along the schedule. When teachers are looking for jobs, you need to know how you compare those that are around you. And this is a really good chart to do that. We're gonna slide over to the salary schedule scatter chart same data and it has the same filters however it just gives you a different look for that so if we were to have statewide deselect all and then start our search for those same four schools and hit apply now we can see that on a scatter chart rather than the rankings that was kind of jumbled up so this kind of helps sort the ranking for you uh, in a different view you can hover over each dot 
and see the co-op and the school district and the co-op in which they reside. And they're also color-coded, so all the schools that are blue are Crowledge Ridge Co-op, but yet the school in brown is of the Northeast Co-op. So it just gives you a different look and it's a good chart to use to reference when you're trying to recruit teachers and know where you stand with those that are trying to, to recruit some of the same teachers. So it's always good to know your data as well as your neighbors sometimes so you can land the hiring of that key teacher that you're needing to hire. This has been Worksheet 615, the Teacher Salary Schedule Chart, and Worksheet 616, Teacher Salary Schedule Scatter. Hope this is helpful. Thank you.